Hello, I'm Bill Buckmaster. Tonight on Arizona Illustrated, National Day of Climate Change, No Child Left Behind, Pulitzer Prize winning reporter Charlie Leduff, the Barrio Hollywood Festival, and wildlife artist on Art Scene. Well, scientists are predicting dire consequences as a result of global warming, like the melting of the polar ice caps and the loss of many plant and animal species. But activists say there is hope if we all take important measures to protect the environment. Channel 6 reporter Tony Paniagua tonight tells us about the National Day of Climate Action this weekend. We are used to hot and dry conditions in Arizona's deserts, but scientists predict it's going to get even worse in the future. The result, they say, of global warming. It doesn't look good for the southwest. Um, the projections are indicating that we could have more drought, so the situation that we've been in lately could continue along like this and get worse in decades to come. Melanie Lenart works for the University of Arizona's Institute for the Study of Planet Earth. Along with volunteers like senior Emily Brill, they are trying to raise awareness about this issue, encouraging people to take action. It affects everyone. It's not an issue that affects certain social classes more than others. This will affect all of us. And so we need to come together to find a solution that everyone can participate in. The women are working on Tucson's version of the National Day of Climate Action, which is being celebrated on Saturday. The solar-powered event at Himmel Park is part of a movement called Step It Up 2007. The group's goal is to convince the United States to cut carbon emissions 80 percent by the year 2050. They say that's less than a 2 percent reduction annually. While it's true that China and India, as they are rapidly industrializing, may sometime in the future surpass the United States, currently we are the problem. And furthermore, we have a responsibility to the world to set an example of what is ethical and what is appropriate. Scientists say you can do your part to fight global warming by reducing your energy consumption, especially when it comes to fossil fuels like coal, gas, and oil. You can try to drive less, use a more fuel-efficient vehicle, carpool, or combine several errands into one trip. You can also bicycle more or simply walk. Turn up your thermostat in the summer and turn it down in the winter. Other measures include investing in solar energy and harvesting rainwater. I just think it is one of the compelling issues of our time. And the thing about this issue is we can do something about it. There are so many issues that we face in this world that you know, seem insurmountable, and yet this really is in our control to some degree. Lisa Dollinger agrees, and she's also volunteering. While she works at the U of A's chemistry department, her reason for participating is mostly personal, not professional. I have kids, and I want to make sure that they have a place to grow up that's um, sustainable and, and beautiful and has a diversity of, of uh, animals and species. Yeah, I, I'm just mostly concerned as a parent. And not just for my children, but the children of the world. I've always cared about environmental issues. Um, I'm a native of Tucson, and I care deeply about the Southwest. Yes, I'm in college, I could be partying, but I'm also 21 years old, and this is my future. Activists say they feel fortunate because awareness and concern seem to be growing. A realization, they say, that global warming is nothing to bask about in the sun. For KUAT, I'm Tony Paniagua. The event will be held at Himmel Park from noon until 5 this Saturday. For more information about this topic, log on to our website, KUAT.org.